such a lovely morning with Emmanuel Dance and Sam. They're going to tell us all about the Ever culture. And of course, we'll learn more about them later. Don't worry, they're mm. still here. So we'll be dancing all morning long. Of course, this week is every week on Breakfast Daily. So we'll be bringing you a lot about the Ewe food, culture, heritage, and history. It's time for our uh, nutrition segment. Akosia Konedu Yadom, State Registered Nutritionist, is here with us to go over meals from Everland and their nutritional benefits. As we are talking, if you want to contribute to the conversation, please use the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550 for us to hear from you. Good morning, Akosia. You look morning, gorgeous. Dita. Thank you so much. You look beautiful too. I, I, I'm, so, I, I'm tempted to say you wore the red because of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I do a big booty. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she can't dance. Oh, I can say you were giving me fake fans. Jifa is good. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm also yourself. I'm good. So what are we looking at today? Okay, so we are looking at akle. Okay. And okro soup, mm -hmm. one. And then we are looking at yaka, yake, okay. and wow. then yevuk boma. You should teach me if I'm doing it well. Oh, you're doing yevuk it right. Yevuk boma <laughs> soup. So we are looking at these two awesome meals. Okay. I, I posted on my status that there is one delicacy, the whole of Ghana, in fact, it's not up for argument when it comes to okra soup. Have, no one can do it better. Have you, have you tried my okra soup before? No. no I'll, I'll bring you some to try. I can't see you, you, you never look back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's hope it's not like the dance, though. <laughs> I'm going to say, you're going to make me not dance again. Let's start with that. Okay. <laughs> my, my director, Evelyn, loves my okra soup, by the way. She oh. can't get enough of it. Every week, that's what she eats. Anyway, the afternoon. Okay, so... Um, okra captain, we are talking about the active ingredients, obviously, mm -hmm. and I would say that when it comes to our local meals, you can't fault any, you can't fault us. Mm -hmm. We spoke about the northern delicacies last week. We have awesome meals in Ghana, and I am so excited when I have to talk about the things we have, because then it, it makes it easier for you. I'm not just here telling you about broccoli, but I'm exactly. telling you about your bitter leaf. <laughs> I'm telling you about the things we, we eat. It's yeah. easier to find a play. It's easier to find some of the things that we speak about. And it's exciting when you have to talk about something we are so used to. So let's start off with um, a play and okra soup. Am I doing the akple? Well, oh, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. and <laughs> okra soup. And we start off with the okra soup. Obviously, you can have okra soup without having okra in there. And so we are talking about okra. It contains vitamin C. Look at the beautiful picture we have there. More beautiful I, than I think you took a dance. picture of my last, my last okra. I think you took this picture from me. And we have crabs in there. What else do we have? I think we have some willy in there. Jifa is a crab captain, hopefully. <laughs> but that is the beautiful akple with okra soup on, on, on our screens. Mm -hmm. And taking okra soup. Our grandparents, I'm, I'm like, were they nutritionists? For I some know. reason, they weren't. But I know that my grandmother goes like, oh, if there is okra in, it means there is meat in there. Yeah. There's truth in that. Hmm. Okra is the only um, ingredient that falls within the fruit and vegetable category that has wow. protein in there. Wow. And we know protein is, when we speak of protein, we think of beef, mm -hmm. mutton, um, chevron. Mm -hmm. We think about poultry or chicken, what have you. But if you are having okra soup wow. or stew and there is no even meat or fish in there, You'll you can be, be assured of some amount of protein. Yeah. It contains vitamin C. Obviously, we can't speak about vitamin C without bringing the issue of immunity mm -hmm. in here. So taking okra loaded with a lot of um, nutrients, but vitamin C and K, very, very, very high as far as nutritive value is concerned. So immunity for vitamin C, vitamin K for blood clotting. Okay. There is a reason why after a cut, after some time, you, you, you realize that clotting has happened. That's the reason why blood is no more coming. Yeah. So vitamin K makes it possible for clotting to happen, wow. especially when there, there is a cut mm -hmm. because if bleeding is supposed to continue, Jifa, you can lose every, every, every blood in you. Mm -hmm. But because God in his wisdom made sure that this, these nutrients are present in what we eat, if you are um, nutritionally sound as far as your vitamin K need is concerned, 
you will help your system as far as these things are concerned. Okay. So that is for okra, and then it also contains antioxidants. Okay. On this segment, antioxidants is almost here every week with us because it is helping to get rid of free radicals out of our system. Mm -hmm. And free radicals is responsible for a lot of health issues, including some cancers. So if taking just okra, you can buy one CD worth of okra, yeah. and it, it will be enough for, for the, the two, two of us. us. Yeah. We don't need to be too exotic. Mm -hmm. We can eat the local things we have. And I, I always give an example. Some of the things you are experiencing in Kumasi and Accra mm -hmm. in the cities, those in the villages, the they don't areas, yeah. experience the those diabetes, things. There the is power pressure. in our fruits. Mm -hmm. And so we should start appreciating the food we eat. Obviously, you have tomato in there, mm -hmm. you have onions in there. But just picking okra as an ingredient, if it can supply you with this benefit, mm -hmm. you can imagine what that combo or what we projected mm -hmm. there can do to you. Mm -hmm. Crabs, seafood, excellent source. As far as even iodine is concerned, because of the presence of salt in seawater, Mm -hmm. So naturally, all seafoods are kind of fortified mm -hmm. as far as iron is concerned. So that is for okra. Now, smoked fish, yeah. I, I will go for salmon every day <laughs> because of the fact that I know that it is also blessed with omega-3 fatty acid mm -hmm. because of the presence of, because it's a healthy fat. Okay. So if you have omega-3 fatty acid sitting in there, it means that straight up your brain health is being improved on. Mm -hmm. And so if it comes to even infant um, feeding or complimentary fees. That's mothers who come to the facility when their child is about to turn six months. Mm -hmm. I'm like, go for the super food. Okay. If you are having, let's say, fufu and palm nut soup, I can decide to give baby potatoes mm -hmm. and then take a bit of the soup before I add the spices, the pepper and the boiling cubes to, to it. And to then it. I make sure that the salmon is grounded together with the potato, with wow. the soup. And this child's meal will be fortified and, and it will be the same as you eating fufu lye soup and salmon. Mm -hmm. The baby had something like a porridge or a pudding, but everything you are pumping into you. And I can even add a bit of carrot to the child's own so that nice. I shoot it more up yeah. than you, the adult. So you don't have to be buying these fancy, fancy things. Mm -hmm. I tell you, by God's grace, I can buy certain things, but I won't buy for yeah. my child because mm -hmm. if I want my child to grow up eating a yo -yo soup, eating a ple. You have to and introduce it Yes, early. you have to introduce it early. After five years, behavioral change is difficult to change mm -hmm. in a child. So you realize that I had a client, everybody had given up on this boy. Four years, you have to put everything in feeding bottle. Wow. So I asked the mother, how will we put a ple in an feeding okra bottle soup in feeding bottle? So some of the things our babies are, or our children are going through, we are responsible for wow. them. So start feeding that child with a ple <laughs> and okra soup if you want a child to be eating because it's not just you introducing something we are both used to, but mm -hmm. you are introducing something amazing. Okra alone giving you all those benefits. Let's talk about the palm oil as well. So the palm oil, very good as far as vitamin A is concerned. Now, vitamin A deficiency can be responsible for... Um, eye issues. issues. Yeah. So once vitamin A is in, it means that um, retinal issues are kind okay. of improved on and so definitely it will improve on your sight. Mm -hmm. Not just that, but also palm oil is a good alternative as, as far as fat is concerned mm -hmm. when compared with other fats, especially for people trying to lose weight. But there is always something we talk about, the right portioning. You don't have to cook and have red oil sitting on top of the food. I always advise that you scoop it off because obviously you, you definitely have some amount of the palm oil sitting in there. So that is for the palm oil. Now, ajado or the dried smoked fish. If I help me, is it adado? It's okay. I love it when non evers <laughs> attempt our language so, to go for it. Are you sure you know how to pronounce it? <laughs> adado ahead. or the dried fish. What, what, what the accounts would call amani. Yes, so adjado, obviously, once it's fish, great source of protein. Protein, fish is a first-class protein, mm -hmm. a primary protein. So it makes sure that you get everything you need as far as your protein needs, some vitamins and other things are concerned. And then it also falls under the iron-rich foods. And iron-rich foods will help you as far as your blood health is concerned. Mm -hmm. Iron will improve on your red blood cells. Okay. Now, you need the red blood cells to make healthy hemoglobin. Hmm. Now, after healthy hemoglobin means you have healthy blood. Okay. So, blood wouldn't just happen. It needs, you need to, to have a healthy um, red blood, blood cells. cells. 
before you have a healthy hemoglobin and it prevents anemia. Yeah, now, last week, Dr. Calvin said majority of Ghanaian women are actually anemic. anemic. I'm, I'm included. So actually. there is a... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's you fine. Need I me. just need to eat you more. Need you need I need to eat you more. Need so so <laughs> more every the, woman... Uh, the, 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 I think weeks ago we spoke about it, but I'll, I'll bring it here again. Between 12 to 49, mm -hmm. your iron needs should be of concern to you. Mm -hmm. I said that every woman, at least, that's why the First Lady introduced the gift, girl mm -hmm. iron supplement yeah. mm -hmm. for, for girls of school going age. It's mm -hmm. normally, it's done for up to 19 years yeah. because we need to make sure we are dealing with anemia or um, iron deficiency because it can affect your fertility. Mm. Sometimes it's not because a rich is chasing you. you, you your, so your stores, your lifestyle so choices. your folic, your iron stores are just purse. Mm -hmm. And so you need to make sure you are improving on it. Eating this example will make sure you have healthy blood. So for a woman, you, myself, we need to be 12 to 16. So 12 to 16, we'll say that we have a very healthy HB. Okay. For a man, it's 14 to 18. So if you fall there, we say that you have a healthy um, HB. And, and everyone, I'll clap for you if you come there with that. It makes even you, pregnant women especially, it mm -hmm. makes things easier for them. Yeah. And it's something I keep preaching. I hardly hear of blood donations now. So yeah. if you come into labor with yeah, a low yeah, HP, you can imagine the pressure you put on your family We'll talk and about this husband. topic another day because it's a really important Yes, yeah, so spinach. Women. Yes. Of, you can use bitter leaf. Uh, well, makes it well, so, eh? yeah. I mean, so, or bitter leaf. Yeah, you, bitter can, you can go that way. It's also rich in folate. Mm -hmm. The reason why we are giving folic acid is because our, our folate stores are depleted. Okay. So we don't have enough. Ah. Sometimes due to how we handle our vegetables. I say sure. if you cook a green leafy vegetable for 10 to 15 minutes, you've destroyed everything but in it. But some of our green leafy vegetables, if you don't overcook it, then your throat will start itching. You don't need to overcook it. So what do you do to address that issue? So it's sometimes because of how it is cooked, you are undercooking it. Mm. For instance, I want to retain everything in it, so I will let it cook for, let's say, after boiling. <laughs> Once it boils, I take it off. So now, if I know that after 10 to 15 minutes, I'm destroying everything, I will make sure I work within, within that something market. lesser than that okay. so that I can make sure that I have everything intact. And if you are cooking it for that long, you don't have to even throw the stock away. So Keep make it. the water something small so that it can be part of, of even it. the meal. Okay. So that is for spinach. Fresh shrimps now, very low as far as calories is concerned. And for the diabetic, this is a an excellent example as far as food choices are concerned mm -hmm. but now because of mercury contamination and food poisoning oh, no. you should be careful when it comes to handling fresh shrimps okay. so i would prefer to buy what they've kind of bit roasted or okay. or kind yes, of that, grilled the ones that we have so okay. they've they've been treated to okay. an extent and so you are at least assured mm -hmm. that something has happened to totally. that, that, that food. Okay. So that is it. It has selenium, it has phosphorus, it, have, it has vitamin B12. Selenium is one of the eight key nutrients even in this time of COVID. Wow. And so if you're having shrimps, seafood, I spoke about omega-3 fatty acid. So there is power in what we eat. Eh? <laughs> and so that will be that for our first meal. That's the akle okay. and the okra soup. soup. Now the second one, you mentioned the soup. I mentioned the no, meal. go for it. Name okay. it. Yeah, can mention no, no, go ahead. Boma yeah. soup. If I <laughs> mention it. Now, we are going to the soup. The soup, the active ingredients is the beta leaf. Mm -hmm. Beta leaf, every leafy green vegetable is a foliage-rich food. Mm -hmm. And the foliage-rich food will help us. Even when you're pregnant, there is a condition we are trying to prevent in pregnant women like spina bifida, mm -hmm. where there is this formation at the back of new babies. Sometimes mm -hmm. a procedure is done to get rid of that. That is uh, mm -hmm. honorable akple and okra soup. So, so we, we've, we've moved on to the next we've meal. We've moved now. on to, <laughs> to, to, to the next meal. Now we talk about agushi. Agushi is very good as far as vitamin A is concerned. Vitamin A is here again. Mm -hmm. So it will help you as far as your eye health is concerned. Mm -hmm. Vitamin A will help you as far as healthy teeth wow. is concerned. So if you are somebody who kind of struggle, gum issues, mm -hmm. teeth issues, you have something wrong okay, with your sweet. dentition. This is something you need to pay attention to. So from Agushi, we'll quickly go on to smoked fish. It's part of the ingredients. We've spoken about smoked fish, mm -hmm. omega-3 fatty acid, a first-class protein, and then it has other great nutrients. We are moving on to meat. You can decide to add any meat because you saw some mm -hmm. crabs in there. Yes. I can decide to have some goat, some called mm -hmm. goat meat. <laughs> but you can have some mutton or okay. chevron, goat mm -hmm. meat, chevron in there. And 
protein is an excellent source. Mm -hmm. uh, meat is an excellent source of, of protein, protein yeah. excellent source of iron. Mm -hmm. So your blood health will be kind of checked. And then it contains a lot of other minerals and vitamins, which will collectively go a long way to improve on your overall health. Mm -hmm. Free radicals, yes, because of the presence of anti Accidents, which will help clear your system of these free radicals, which gives you the chances or the risk of having some conditions like um, cancers. Yeah. So that will be it. Akple, we want to talk about on our akple. Corn flour, yake yake, corn dough, and then corn flour again. Now, what are the flour, nutritional benefits? Excellent source of carbohydrates. Okay. We make it look like carbohydrates is bad. something <laughs> we shouldn't be eating, but your blood runs on energy. Yeah. And so we need carbohydrates to make sure that we, we are supplying our body with the energy. See how you were dancing here. You need carbohydrate to have the energy to be able to dance like you were dancing. You dance like David danced in the house of God. <laughs> So now I don't mind the you, carbs contain thiamine. Because of you, I'll try it again. You <laughs> see, try. You look nice. So it has niacin. Niacin is very good as far as the the energy or body cells and um, the energy the body cells will need um, is concerned. Now it has riboflavin, which is also needed for overall growth. Wow. And physical well-being. Okay. And then niacin. Niacin helps with lowering our LDL cholesterol. Now we have the HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol. Mm -hmm. We have the LDL cholesterol, okay. which is the bad cholesterol. And we have them being elevated because of the lifestyle practices okay. we, we, we indulge in. Okay. And so there is a conscious... So which one will be the examples of the bad and the examples of the good? Okay, so... I will, I will give you, I'm tempted, when you give me oils, sorry, I, sorry, I'm tempted sorry. to mention <laughs> brands, but no. uh, I have to so get money to be able. Oil, so sunflower, oil. canola, over okay. what sits in the market in that yellow gallon, okay. that people, it's much cheaper. Okay. You can do canola oil, you can do, so do vegetable oil, that's the okay, vegetable I will oil. give you. Okay. Vegetable oils. So coconut oil is fine. Excellent. Okay. Vegetable oils are great, but the clue here is that work with the right portion. If I want to do stew for the two of us, mm -hmm. I can go for two to three tablespoonful of, 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 of oil because I don't need the oil. How do we change this narrative that we need plenty oil? Because, you know, a, a friend of mine, Doji, when he makes soup, he pours so much oil in it because he says that if the uh, well, oil does uh, not come to the top, <laughs> it, it, it's not properly cooked. And uh, he's watching us this morning. How, how does he handle that? Stop it. <laughs> so yeah. you don't you don't need the oil. You need the nutrients sitting in there, and the oil you will need as far as omega three fatty acid is concerned. Even with some of the vegetable oils, if you have meat, if you have fish, for instance, in there, if you have salmon in there, you will be. Is it by force to body. be able to see the oil with your you naked eyes? You don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. Come to think of it, when you go out to eat, any proper restaurant that serves you with oil on top. Their chef did not school properly. Really? You don't need Have the oil. Okay. You don't need the oil. The oil is part of the meal. Like it or not, the fact that you've cooked with the oil makes it even difficult for you to take the oil out, out of, of it. Meal. So you don't need extra oil sitting on, on top. top and it. nutrition is very tricky. That's why when we give you supplements or medication, there is a dosage to it. Yeah. You don't need to overdo it because it's good. Because yeah. this supplement will make you lose weight. So three days, I bombard you with this bowl full of supplements and expect you to lose weight in three, three days. Did you gain it in three days? Yeah. No. So you don't need to do that drastic thing. So most importantly, niacin also... As far as reducing your LDL, once the LDL is kind of reduced or regulated, it improves on the HDL. That's okay. the good cholesterol. So it makes sure that your heart health is also taken care of. As far as you eating cassava, so those going about saying carbohydrate is not good. In fact, I, I eat carbohydrate. Do I look like somebody suffering from <laughs> guess, yeah. eating carbohydrate? On that carbohydrate <laughs> note, where do we contact you? Okay, so on Instagram, at The Nutritionist Akosia. On Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Nutritionist Akosia. And you can reach me on 0243 350206. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Akusia, <laughs> for being with us. It's always, it's always a, pleasure. a pleasure. And you, you, you managed the, the pronunciation of the names quite well. I'll give you I a six, 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 six over ten. <laughs>